is Darius and I've decided to give this YouTube gaming scene a try. Um, <coughs> uh, there's always a first time, who knows, maybe I'm good at it. But yet again, uh, there's just as big of a chance of me sucking at it, so yeah. Only one way to find out, I guess. This is uh, the F2A Buffalo. It's the premium you get after uh, after you select your first country. Either way, it's it's a jewel of a plane. It handles perfectly. It turns on a dime. It it's it's great at. Um, managing your energy I've never ripped my wings in this plane no matter how fast I was going no matter how hard I was pulling on it it was great the only letdown on it is in my opinion its guns having just a 30 caliber and a 50 caliber machine gun both are mounted in the nose but the way I like to think about this plane is uh, basically like a, an early zero and a more reliable main gun, as in the 50 caliber BMG is much 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 more reliable than uh, the Japanese cannon, which I don't know the name of because I don't really play Japanese. I don't. I just for some reason I just don't like them. I don't know, it might be the guns. Either way, uh, I'm gonna be showing you two matches on Baston. Oh, I just murdered this name. Uh, so I'm gonna be showing you two games which uh, basically just show off how how fun this, this plane could be even when you're neck deep in a, in a massive furball. I don't know, maybe it's because of the less experienced player base at these battle ratings, but it's 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 a lot of fun. I, I recommend it to anyone. Uh, if you by any chance didn't uh, start up with with the the American Tech Tree, uh, you you could buy it. It's dirt cheap. And I wholeheartedly recommend this over almost any premium aircraft in the game. Because as I said, it's it's a bundle of joy when you get these kinds of matches. Um, so let, let me get back to uh, the, the guns real quick. I, I mentioned... I'm, I'm not really impressed by them and you're gonna see a lot of it in this video where I uh, try to conserve ammunition and keep my burst my bursts short and you'll see a lot of people uh, basically mm, finishing off what I start uh, I'm not gonna lie it was a bit annoying but Hey, this is reserve level uh, gameplay. It's not meant to be taken seriously. It's meant to be a barrel of fun. And oh boy, is this a barrel of fun. I've, I've seen a lot of players in, in the games I get, especially at this... Uh, battle rating complaining that oh uh, I have to climb for like five minutes to get shot down it's not quite true it is true well uh, with, with a couple of planes but with this plane mm, you're not gonna have that problem it climbs like a homesick angel it has a very low uh, stall speed it's around 160 odd kilometers an hour 
uh, that's 100 miles an hour for for imperial users which you can you can tell is very very low and what what that enables you to do is pull off all of these um, maneuvers that make you feel effectively as if you were playing arcade without a uh, lead indicator. It is that good. It turns hard. Either way, uh, you'll see me, I just, you'll see me ripping my flaps off and at the moment while I was playing I was thinking oh great I lost the flap uh, that's gonna be embarrassing because I recorded this with, with the intention of putting it on YouTube so I, I, I paid it no mind I was I was focusing on this uh, 110 uh, trying trying to secure the kill effectively because this was like my third game where all I got was like three, four assists, no kills. Uh, yeah, it's because of because of the guns. But sometimes they work perfectly, and you'll see later in this clip. And sometimes, well, as you as you saw in in the previous clip, in the previous recording, it, it does. Doesn't really want to work every time. But nevertheless, I clipped off the one tens left wing and I thought well let me, let me go look for more trouble and boy did I get into some trouble here as you can see while I'm flying toward the towards the enemy I put it in a fairly shallow climb and I was very torn between going towards those two uh, planes the 112 and the 109 but then I saw Mr. Kale there uh, he was above in a very favorable position and I was, I was I was thinking about jumping in but I wasn't sure so I put up my smoke to attract attention and I was tr starting to dive on the 109, thinking that Mr. Mr. Kale would take care of a uh, take care of the 112. But uh, as I got closer, I saw the 109 was disabled, so I put a few shots in it. I'm like, okay, I missed. I haven't played this plane in a long time at the time of the recording, and I was really not accustomed to the velocities of the guns it had. I, I, I wasn't comfortable leading them right. So here I realized I was in a pickle and having lost a flap I was thinking okay I have no flap and I must I, I must turn. I was like oh great uh, what what why and what I ended up doing was um, I got into this basically dense of death with the 112 and the 110. In the first head on, I uh, took out the 112's uh, cooling system and I saw the 110 stalling out. I didn't see him catching fire. That's that's why I didn't ignore him. But once once he, he was shot down, I I thought I'd go into a spiral climb, 
to bait him for Mr. Kale here. And it worked perfectly, except for, well, my, my teammate, well, failed to get the kill, so I dove on him. Still nothing. I was like, oh man, these guns are gonna be the end of me. But Mr. Kale got got the kill uh, in the end. I was like, okay, uh, looking for targets, didn't see anything. That HE111 looked very tasty, but as soon as I turned toward them, this MC200 just showed up out of nowhere, out of, out of the, the sun. I was like, oh, that's not good. Because I was under the impression that uh, the MC200 could outturn me easily. But once I saw how, how fast my pipper was uh, was gaining on him I got my confidence back and put a few shots in him and seeing that my I could turn with him I con continued into this terrible horizontal maneuver but as soon as I got my guns in him uh, a second time I just took his wing did a couple loops in celebration looking for targets and seeing as I didn't see, didn't see anyone I, I thought okay I'm, I'm uh, low on ammo and should return to base either way uh, had I ended my my video there it would have been a splendid little display but well I just want to show that I'm not a good pilot I'm not a good player I'm just a regular guy I'm trying to have fun and yeah I mess up sometimes take care